Hello, Jocelyn. Sorry, my computer was taking a very long time to connect. How are you? No le escucho. Está con el, el micrófono apagado. Todo mal, creo yo. ¿Mm? ¿Cómo dice? Creo que estoy mal. ¿De veras? ¿Por qué? Aún ando de pelada, porque trabajamos anoche. Ah, ya. Yeah. No, no tengo niñera para este día. No he dormido. Mm. Y yo ando mal de la mañana. ¿Y el otro qué? Ando mal de la garganta. Uh, entiendo, entiendo. Ya me iba a desconectar, pero dije que nadie se iba a conectar. Pero le agradezco. Le agradezco uh -huh. mucho que, que se haya conectado. Um, sí, que se haya conectado y, y pues sí, su... su su responsabilidad, le, le agradezco mucho. Eh, El domingo tuvieron clase, ya no me pude conectar, estaba bien ocupada. Sí, tuvimos clase. Eh, ¿No se acordó o estaba muy ocupada? Estaba bien ocupada, bastante. Sí, no, no, no se preocupe, así parece, tranquila. Eh, ¿Pudo ver la clase? No. Ok, um, le sugiero que vea la clase. Um, ¿Le puedo ayudar con un repaso? Déjeme. Okay. Porque sí avanzamos bastante. Okay. Se conectaron varios. Ah, no me acuerdo. No me acuerdo cómo fue eso. Casi una semana atrás, no me acuerdo. Sabe que voy a, voy a, lo que voy a hacer es que voy a mandar un mensajito al grupo. Okay. Um, okay. Bueno, um, and yeah, okay, so we're, we're, I'm going to do a little bit of a, a review for you. la sección 5 allá. ¿Mm? La sección 5 también allá. Mm, no, creo que... Voy a querer ver. Hoy vamos a empezar a tocar la 5. Ok, ya vio todo lo que tenía que ver con, con, 
con los, en los trabajos, ¿verdad? ¿O todavía no? ¿De la plataforma? No, en, en la clase, la, la última clase donde se estuvo. Ah, la clase. <coughs> Mire que agarro un cuaderno cada vez que el que encuentro, así que <coughs> no sé. Vale, es, es, eso le sugiero que vaya um, eh, corrigiendo. Trate de trate de hacer uno solo de todos los que tiene. <risa> Corte la página. Lo, lo pega ahí con una pe pega ahí a, a otro cuaderno y vaya formando ahí las la casas en un solo cuaderno porque eso de estar con un cuaderno aquí o sea se, está se va a confundir y no es va a poder no, no conseguí no he ido a a, a conseguir un cuaderno para las clases me agarro cualquier cuaderno que no sé. ajá por eso te digo eh, Va, mañana no tenemos clase. Entonces, tal vez mañana. mañana. ¿Va a haber? No, no tenemos clase. Le... Entonces, bien. tal vez mañana puede usted um, utilizar para poder comprar un cuaderno y ya ir formando su, su, su cuaderno. <risa> de, eh, um, de, de de inglés, porque si sí necesitamos, um, necesitamos que, que, que esté, que esté uno solo, porque la, es la única forma que usted va a poder ir progresando y ver su progreso. ¿Va? ¿Ok? Um, ¿Ok? Entonces, um, Okay. Um, let's. Okay, I'm going to show you something, and you tell me if you saw it already or not. Okay, can you see? you see it or no? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So um, did you see this last time or no? Do you remember this or no? Yes. You do remember it? Yes. Si se acuerda? Okay, perfect. Okay, so, so we already covered that part. Um, so yeah, so you did already the section number three. Yeah. So we, so in last class, what we did was we looked at basically at section number four. If I'm not mistaken, we did all of section four. So let me show you. Yes. So basically this is, this is the last thing that you saw the last, last class, right? Right? Al final de la última clase que usted estuvo, vio esto, ¿verdad? No. No lo vi, no lo vio para nada. No. No? Okay. Voy a hacer el repaso entonces. Okay, so this is food. Um food that we eat um every day. Um and we have categorized it in one, two, three. 
four, five, five different, no, one, two, three, no, six, six different categories. So I'll show you the categories. The first category is grains, which are, what, what do you call this in Spanish? Grano. Oh. No. Yes, exactly. Granos. And we learned that we have bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, and pasta. Do you understand crackers, Jocelyn? Mm? No. No? No, 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 son tortillas. <laughs> no. um, crackers are what you find in the supermarket. Um, you can find, for example, huh? No, 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 <clears throat> Sorry, could you repeat that, Jocelyn? Jocelyn, can you repeat it? Galleta. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Very, very good. Uh, what kind of galletas? Salty or, or sweet? No, no, no. Like a eh, salty, you, you understand salty? Salty? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Salty or sweet? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which one? Salty or sweet? Salt. No, casi no le escuché. Sé que está cerquita, Justin, y no quiero hablarla mucho, pero. No ¿Cómo escuché. la la pronunciación? Salty. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So crackers are galletas saladas. Okay. okay. You under you, and um, sorry. You understand noodles? Spaghetti. No, no, they're not spaghettis. Spaghetti would be spaghetti. Um, noodles are what you would find in like uh, like soups, like maruchan, for example. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Very good. Yeah. Okay. And then <laughs> you have the fruit here. We learned bananas, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, apples. You understand this vocabulary, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. And we have broccoli, carrots, lettuce, potatoes, and tomatoes. You understand that, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then we learned also the beets and other proteins. What is meat? Do you know meat? Meat is. Meat is. Hmm? Meat is. Meat is. Carne. Or carne. Yes. Carne, mm -hmm. yeah. So carne and other proteins, what are other proteins? Yeah. Other proteins? Proteinas. Yeah, exactly. So, many other proteins in Spanish? Comida. Mm -hmm. 
Exactly, yes. That's what exactly what we learned, yes. So meat and other proteins. Eh, carnes y otras proteínas. So you, we, we learned about fish. You understand fish? Fish? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Beans. Mm -hmm. And chicken. Yeah. Beef. Carne o filetes. Pero ¿qué clase de carne? Carne. ¿Ah? Carne. Ajá, pero ¿qué clase de carne? De filete. ¿Carne de qué? De vaca. ¿Cómo le llamamos la carne de vaca? De res. De res, ok, exacto, ya. Yeah. So this is uh -huh. de res. Ok, eggs. You know, you understand eggs, ya. Yeah. And nuts. <laughs> Mm, no, nuts are like uh, there are different types of nuts. Like we have walnuts and, and peanuts, and um, what else? Uh, we can have uh, oh, you know pistachios. No, come on. You don't. You don't know pistachios. No. Um, no. almonds. Um oh okay, I know. You you know you know um choco uh, sorry uh choco bananas. You know choco bananas, right? Or cacao, no. Okay, yes, yes. All of those things like cacao are nuts. That's a type of nut. No, I yes. Bravo. <laughs> exactly, Justin. Hello, Guillermo. Welcome. Hello. Hi, how are you? Uh, fine. Okay, good, good. I'm glad you were able to connect. Okay. Okay. Eh, aquí estamos haciendo un repaso a Jocelyn. Porque no, no, no pudo estar en la última clase. Ok, así que solo estamos haciendo repaso y, y le puede servir un repaso para usted también. Ok. Ok. All right, so we, that's meat and other proteins. Dairy. Do you know dairy in Spanish? Lactios. Lactios, exactly. So you have milk, yogurt, milk. cheese. Yes, you Leche, what? Leche? Queso, leche y yogur. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Good. And then at the top here, we have fat, oil, and sugar. What is fat? Fat. Uh... No, okay. You know fat? Salado. No. Huh? Salado. No. Fat. Like, um, fat. Fritura. Mm. No. No, no sé. Fat. Um, like, uh, margarine. Margarine is like a type of fat. You know margarine? Margarine? Mm -hmm. Margarina? Ah. Yeah? So that's a type of fat. Grasa. Uh huh. Yeah. And oil? Oil? Like uh, to, f to fry a, 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 an egg, you put oil and then you put the egg and then it'll. Soda. No. No. This is oil. Like to to make, uh, for example, um, when you make uh, pastelitos or you make um, 
or you make um let's take a mess uh you even pupusas you put some oil okay um uh when you make like Plating. an egg hmm? i have plating yes exactly uh, <laughs> yeah exactly and sugar azúcar azúcar yeah so what does it say fat oil and sugar just leave Huh? What does it say? Fat, oil, and sugar? Sería, um, uh, fat sería entonces margarina o grasa. No. Fat. The, the, it, fat is a type. Like, mar, okay, margarina is a type of fat. Uh -huh. So we can have like, like when, when they make, for example, um, eh, tamales, they use, sometimes some people use um, manteca, right? So that is another type of fat. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. know, do you know that? Sí, pero no sé si es el básico igual, manteca. Eh, that grasa. is the type, es un tipo de, de fat. Grasa. Yes, exactly. Ah, grasa, so, aceite y azúcar. Exactly, very good. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to our class. <laughs> Um, bueno, eh, Jacqueline, estamos haciendo un repaso de la clase anterior porque Josin um, no había podido estar. Entonces, estábamos haciendo una, una, un repaso. Y si no me equivoco, usted tampoco estuvo, ¿verdad? No, no estuvo tampoco. Ajá. Ok, entonces también le, le va a servir a usted este repaso. Gracias. Um, ok. So... Yeah. Okay, so Jocelyn, what do you know what is cream? What is cream? Crema. Um okay, crema, good, okay. Candy. Dulce. Mm-hmm. Dulces, okay. Potato chips. Grasa. ¿Mm? De papa, papa frita. But yeah, exactly. It's like um, for example, lace. You know, you know lace. Lace churros. Yeah, lace. Lace. Yeah, yeah, lace. Lace? You don't know lace? I know you know lace. Papa. Jacqueline, do you know lace? Ah, uh, yo mm, churro. Papacita. Yeah. What that like? Uh, not 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 churros, but papas fritas, right? Lace. Mm. Okay, so um so that's that is um that is a, an example of potato chips. Okay. And oil, what is oil? Oil? You know oil? Aceite. Hmm? Aceite. Aceite, uh huh. And butter? Gras. Mm -mm. Uh, for example, on margarina. toast. You can margarina. Put, mm, similar, similar to, to, to margarine. Manteca. Manteca. Mantequilla. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Margarina. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so what we what we can do then is practice the pronunciation. Okay, so cream. Okay, everybody, everybody can practice with me. Cream. 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 Candy. Candy. Everybody. Candy. Candy. Potato chips. Potato chips. Potato chips. Potato chips. Oil. Oil. Repeat. Oil. Oil. Butter. 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 Not butter. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Excellent. Next we have fish. Fish. Right. Repeat fish. 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 Beans. 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 Yes. Chicken. 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 Mm -hmm. Beef. Beef. Repeat beef. Beef. Mm -hmm. Um, eggs, 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 eggs. Mm -hmm. nuts, eggs. nuts, nuts, yes, nuts, and that's it. Okay, over here, milk, 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 milk. milk. Mm -hmm. yogurt, <laughs> yogurt, yogurt, no, yogurt. Yeah, so it's not yogurt. Yogurt, no. Yogurt. 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 Yes. Yogurt. Exactly. Yogurt. yogurt. Cheese. 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 Mm -hmm. Cheese. Bananas. 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 Apples. 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 Mangoes. 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 Strawberries. Strawberries. Oranges. Orange. 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 Yes, very good. Broccoli. 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 Carrots. 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 Lettuce. 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 Mm -hmm. Potatoes. Potatoes. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Bread. 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 Cereal. 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 Crackers. 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 Rice. 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 Noodles. Noodles and pasta. And pasta. Pasta. And pasta. Yeah. Very good. <coughs> exactly. Excellent. Um, okay. Very, very good. Um, all right. So this is the vocabulary that we learned last class. Okay. Also, we learned about countable and uncountable. Do you know countable and uncountable? So we learned about countable and uncountable nouns. Countable and Uncountable, also called non countable. It's the same thing countable or non countable nouns. It's the same. Do you know countable and uncountable nouns? <laughs> Do you know? So these countable and uncountable nouns. 
Just a second. Okay, um, so countable nouns are nouns that you can count, that it's possible to give a number. Okay, Guillermo, let's see if you remember. What are countable nouns? Can you give me examples? Uh, countable nouns, uh, it's like uh, candies. Uh, um, actually, candies, normally, we don't count candies normally. Normally. Normally, yeah. yeah. So we just talk about candies in, in general. In Another general, thing. countables is uh, all things or uh, or eat that can uh, count mm -hmm. with, uh, with uh, my hands. Exactly. And no countable is the, con, uh, the action uh in birth yeah okay good yes. good exactly can you give me examples Guillermo of countable nouns for for example uh countable nouns is like orange yes banana and <laughs> no countable is like bread uh cereal uh cream Okay, G give me f first countables. Just give me countables so we can write them down. So countable, oh, oh, yeah, countable of the pyramid full? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, countable, we have uh, uh, tomatoes, uh, uh, potatoes, strawberry, mangoes. Uh, okay, apple. Hold on. hold on, hold on. Strawberries, Ban mangoes. Bananas, uh, oh. orange. Uh, have um, um, candy. Which uh, one? Potato chips. Potato chips. Um, uh, eggs. Eggs. I only remember that. Okay, it's okay. That's good. That's perfect. So, that, yeah, that's that's correct. So, with these ones, these are countable because we can put a number to them. Okay? It's possible, Jocelyn and Jacqueline, to put a number. Okay? To give you an example, you can say um, three oranges. Two tomatoes, um, four strawberries, um, two mangoes, ten bananas, um, and let's say uh, fifteen potato chips. Seven eggs. Okay, we can put a number. No sé si lo logran ver. Lo logran ver o no? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. Um. So that's that's that is what um. Eh, Oh. Okay. Okay, so you can you can put a number to them. Okay? It's possible to put a number. That's countable. But uncountable you cannot put a number, okay? You can't put a number. Uh, Guillermo, can you give me examples of uncountable or non-countable? Uncountable um, is like oh. bread. Uh -huh, bread. Uh, broccoli. 
Broccoli. Uh, uh, cereal. Cereal. Rice. Rice. Uh, noodles. Noodles. Pasta. Pasta. Uh, um, uh, the most fish. Fish, yes. All all the meats, right? All meats like fish, uh -huh. beef. Uh-huh, good. What else? Cheese. Uh -huh. uh, milk. Milk, yeah. So all all the all the um liquids. Uh, uh, butter, butter, mm -hmm. oil, oil. Cream. So everything that is liquid is uncountable. So with this one, girls, we cannot put a number. Okay, it's impossible to put a number. So um, we cannot say, it's not possible to say, for example, two breads. Okay. Or uh, three broccoli. Or five cereal. Or 20 rice. Or... Um, I don't know, 18 noodles or um, what did I start? Oh, I think it's pasta. What is it? I'm going pasta. Um, we can't say, for example, um, seven pasta or uh, four fish or 11 milk or um, you know, 16 butter or 25 oil. We can't say that. It's not possible to say that. Not possible. Okay, so we would not say two breads or two broccoli. Okay, or two or five cereal or twenty rice or eighty noodles or seven pastas or four fish, or 11 pastas, sorry, milk, or 16 butter, or 25 oil. It's not possible to count. Do you, do you understand Jacqueline and Jocelyn? La verdad no entiendo por qué enumera, por qué. It's not possible. So you can say, so okay. if, Yo entiendo como contable y no, que no se puede contar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ahí, uh, de ahí por eso, y Brad, mm, mm, no, sí se, no se puede contar. Yeah, exactly. So you're not, it's not possible to count. Ajá, no. Uh -huh. no, no. Mm -hmm. no se puede decir dos panes. Yes, ajá, uh -huh. yeah, sí. No se puede. Eh, ve, ve, veíamos la vez pasada que uh -huh. aunque hay gente que sí lo hace ¿verdad? deme dos panes en realidad no está contando el pan, no se puede contar el pan, se puede contar por ejemplo dos pedazos de pan dos rebanadas de pan eh, dos um, bollos de pan pero en realidad no se cuenta el pan ok ok no, no es posible okay. contar el pan. ¿Ok? Entonces, aún en español, si nosotros estamos diciendo dos panes, eh, está mal empleado porque cuando yo digo, ok, me comí dos panes, ¿qué? ¿a qué se refiere? ¿Dos rebanadas de pan? 
es muy diferente a dos, eh, a, a dos, eh, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se le diría? Dos barras de pan, por ejemplo. Esto sería, sería como una barra de pan. ¿Verdad? Entonces es muy diferente decir me comí una rebanada de pan que decir me comí una, eh, un, una barra de pan. ¿Sí? Entonces eh, pan es... Um, no se puede contar. ¿Ok? ¿Does that make sense? ¿Is that clear, Jacqueline and Jocelyn? Yes. Okay. Yeah? Yes, yes. Ok. Good. Good, good, good. Ok, so this is a review um, of what we saw in the class. Um, And I'm going to show you one more thing that we learned last class. We also learned about using some and any. That was another topic that was very important, using some and any. So basically, Basically, um, when we are, when we're making a question, we use any. For example, do we have any eggs? How do you say that in Spanish? Do we have any eggs? How do you say that in Spanish? Do we have any eggs? Algunos, algunos huevos. ¿Hm? Algunos. Tenemos algunos huevos. Algunos huevos. Tenemos algunos huevos. Good. So we use any for questions and also for negatives. No, we don't have any. How do you say that? No, we don't have any. How do you say that in Spanish? Guillermo, how do you say that in Spanish? Uh, how do you say the uh, word? So, no, we no, we don't have any. How do you say that in Spanish? Uh. Uh, es, esta oración de acá. Uh, dice, no, no tenemos ningún huevo. Yes, very good. No, yes. No, no tenemos ningún huevo. So we can use the word any for questions and for negatives. Okay, so the same thing here. In this one, do we have any bread? Jocelyn, what do you think is this? What's the end? What is the, the question in Spanish? Do we have any bread? No, necesitamos. Do we need any bread? Necesitamos ah, necesitamos que ¿Qué necesitamos? Pan. Pan. Mm, Guillermo. Do you, do you remember this? Um, quiero ver. Um, the sentence: Do we need any bread? Uh -huh. 
eh, necesitamos pan. Yo diría que necesitamos pan. Pero, ¿qué clase de pan? ¿O cuánta cantidad de pan? Cantidad. Uno eh. no especifica. Porque el pan no se puede contar, no digo. Uh -huh. Algún pan. pan. Algo de pan. Ajá. Necesitamos algo, algo de pan. Ok. So, any is used for questions. Ok. And we also use it here in the negative. In the negative. What would this, what would the answer be? No, we don't need any bread. Uh, Jacqueline? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. What do you think is no, we don't need any bread? If I ask you, do you need do we need any bread? And you answer, no, we don't need any. So it's like no. in Spanish. Do we need any bread? Necesitamos algo de pan? ¿Cuál sería su respuesta en español? No necesitamos algo de pan. No necesitamos algo de pan. Nada ningún de pan. pan. Ningún pan. En español sería ningún pan. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. So the same thing okay. here. Any. Any is for negative. Ok. But Jacqueline, ayúdeme con ese. Do you, do you need any eggs? Do we need any eggs? In Spanish? Uh, cualquier. Do you need? In Spanish, no, do we need any eggs? Necesitamos. <coughs> necesitamos huevos. Ajá, pero. ¿Qué significa Necesita, any? Any. ¿Mm? Necesitamos. ¿Cuál? Necesitamos, necesitamos. Necesitamos qué? Huevo. Algo de huevos. Entonces, algo de huevos? A, a mí, su significado es algo. En algunos casos. En algunos casos, o sea, Dependiendo de, de qué es lo que si es una pregunta o una respuesta o es el negativo, dependiendo. Ok. So, okay. no, we don't need any. No necesitamos significa? nada de huevo. No necesitamos ningún huevo. Ningún huevo. So, ve que, que cambia entonces, ¿no? Por eso le decía que no es que siempre significa algo, sin, porque aquí significa ningún, ¿verdad? Dependiendo. En el negativo o, en la, o es la pregunta. Ok. 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 Jocelyn, do we need any bread? Can you tell me in Spanish? Hmm. Necesitamos. Un poco de pan. Necesitamos un poco de pan. Necesitamos, ajá, eh, no un poco, sino que necesitamos algo de algo pan. De pan. Uh -huh. ¿Necesitamos algo de pan? No, we don't need any bread. No, necesitamos nada de pan. Uh -huh. O ningún pan. Ningún. No, ningún pan. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Um, vaya, eso es lo que aprendimos la vez pasada. Chicas, les les sugiero que puedan repasar la clase de la semana pasada. Está en línea. 
Okay. 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 All right. So, oops. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do today, uh, we started learning a little bit about this. Okay. Um, always and usually. Okay, so well, when we want to talk about the frequency, I repeat, frequency. Frequency. Yeah. Frequency. Mm -hmm. So the frequency, what is frequency in Spanish? Frequencia. Frequencia. <laughs> Exactly. When we want yeah. to talk about the frequency of something, we can use the we can use um, adverbs of frequency. Okay, we use adverbs of frequency. So let's see if if we can decipher. Um, okay, always. What does it mean, always? Siempre. Siempre. Yes. So that is 100% of the time. Okay. It's 100% of the time. Usually would be like 80% of the time. So how do you say that in Spanish? Usually? Usualmente. Usualmente. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Then we have often. It's like 60% of the time. What is often? In Spanish? Como rara veces. No. A veces sí, a veces no. Often? Mm -hmm. Often it's like about 60%. So we could say often would be like in Spanish, like uh, frecuentemente. Seguido. Mm? Yeah, frecuentemente, seguido. Yeah, okay. Now, then we have sometimes. Sometimes we can say that it's like 50% of the, sorry, it's about 40% of the time. Okay, what is sometimes? Algunas <laughs> veces. Algunas veces. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And then we have Hardly ever. Casi nunca. Casi nunca. It's about 20% of the time. Okay. And then finally we have 0% of the time. <clears throat> never. What is never? No. Never? Uh, no. uh, welcome, Edwin. Hi, teacher. <laughs> okay, so never? No. Hmm? 
Nunca. Nunca. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nunca. Um, okay. So the thing about, about adverse of frequency is that um, we, <coughs> adverse of frequency, we use, um, we usually use the adverse of frequency after the, the, the subject. Okay, so the subject in this case is I. So we would put it after I. I always, I usually, I often, I sometimes, I hardly ever, I never. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes? Do you understand? Yes. So most of the time, most of the time, the um the the adverb for frequency will go after the subject. Okay. Just give me a moment. All right, so so we would put the the adverb frequency after the subject, but but with the adverb frequency, sometimes it's an exception. Okay, it's an this is an exception. Why is it an exception? Because the it's the only adverb frequency that it's possible to put before the subject, okay? So normally, most of the time, usually you put the subject and then the adverb frequency, but only, only with the word sometimes, we put it before the subject. In this case, before I. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, I have an. Tengo una pregunta. The yeah, base okay. form in WH question. Uh, what is the <laughs> ubication of frequency or uppers? Would you repeat the question? Uh, uh, in a W question, when you use an adverse of frequency, mm -hmm. uh, what is the, the base form uh, for use uh, the adverb? Like what because is... We need that can put uh, in sometimes uh, uh, frequency adverbs uh, before... Uh, before the the WH, uh, for example, where was the question? Que el pocas palabras era el el tema de que cuál es la forma de uso en una pregunta porque se puede utilizar antes de una palabra antes de un where un who o no se puede usar, ¿verdad? Si hay alguna regla, ¿verdad? So, okay, so let me see if I understand your question. You want to know what is the position of the adverb of frequency in WH question words? Yes. Okay. Um, in the position would normally go after the subject. Okay, so if in question words, in, in WH question words, we have, for example, where... Where, 
do you work? Yeah. Guillermo, you see that? Where see? do you work? Okay, so this is this is a WH question word. Sorry, a WH question information question. Okay, so what we do is that um, we always put the adverb of frequency after the subject. What is the subject in this in this question? You. You, exactly. So then we would put it after you. Okay. So we would ask, uh, where do you always? Where do you always work? Does that answer your question? Does, does that answer your question? Yes? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay. All right. Um so so like I said before. Um we the 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 position is always or better said usually the adverb of frequency after I, but sometimes is an exception because it's possible, not necessary, but it's possible to put uh, sometimes before I. Do we understand? Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. Any questions that you want to ask? No question. Questions, chicas, girls, boy. You can ask questions. Mm -hmm. So it's clear. Okay. Af no, after after the adverb of frequency, we're going to put the verb. Okay. And the verb is going to be, for example, eat. Okay. Any verb. And but the verb has to agree with the subject. So if if for example here uh the I put he imagine imagine that the adverb sorry the, the subject is he then over here we're going to say not eat but Que vamos a poner? <coughs> mm -hmm. ¿Qué vamos a poner? Vamos a ver. He. ¿Cómo conjugamos he? He. Así le ponemos he eat. ¿Ah? Do. 
¿Cómo le ponemos? P. Third person singular. ¿Cómo le ponemos, chicos? Eso lo hemos aprendido hace mucho tiempo atrás. Es, es información reciclada. ¿Y qué le ponemos? Chicos, con he. ¿Qué le ponemos? Nada rápido. ¿Cómo, no, ¿cómo formamos oraciones con he, eat? El complemento. He eats. No sé si a eso se refiere. Ah. El he se lleva una S. Uh -huh, ah. Because it's he, it's third person singular. No, oh, no, sí es. ¿Sí? Sí. He eats. ¿Estamos o no? Sí, yo sí. Lo que utilizamos. Tercera persona. Ajá, ya sé, entendemos que, que le ponemos una S con it cuando es con he. Se le pone una S cuando es con he. Ajá. Esto. No se acuerda de esto, Jocelyn. ¿Hola? No se acuerda de esto. No. Con la tercera persona singular, siempre le puse poner una S. No me recuerdo eso. Eso nivel 1. En el curso pasado. So, like, with he, she, it. With he, she, it, we always put the verb. Okay, like ride, play, um, eat, drink. Um, if it's like, um, verbs, yeah, okay, so we just put an S. So, right? Plays, eats, drinks. Cuando se dice que es de él. Yeah. yeah. He, she, it. ¿Se se acuerda? Sí. Okay. Okay, good. So that's why you say he always eats. He usually eats. He often eats. He sometimes eats. He hardly ever eats. He never eats. Okay? Do we understand why? Se trata de, digamos, de uno como hay, entonces ya no la lleva. Exactly. It's only for third person singular. But for I, you, she, and we, they. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. So, now, we also have here um, this word. Ever. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? What does it mean ever? Fish for breakfast. What is this question? Do you ever? Do you ever have fish for breakfast? What does that mean in Spanish? Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Si siempre come pescado en el desayuno. No siempre. Ah. Do you ever have fish for, for, for breakfast? ¿Alguna vez? Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Yes, Edwin, can you repeat? Al algunas veces. ¿Alguna vez? ¿Alguna vez has comido? Do you want? Uh -huh. ¿Alguna vez has comido pescado en el desayuno? Yes, exactly. ¿Alguna vez has comido pescado en el desayuno? Okay. So, ever, what is ever? What is the meaning of ever? In Spanish, the meaning of ever? Ever in Spanish? Do you ever have fish for breakfast? A veces. A veces. No. ¿Cuál es la pregunta que acaba de hacer Edwin? ¿Alguna vez ha comido? Ah, entonces, ¿qué significa ever? Alguna. ¿Ah? ¿Cuál es la pregunta que acaba de decir? ¿Alguna vez? ¿Mm? ¿Alguna vez? ¿Alguna vez has comido pescado por el desayuno? So, what is the meaning of ever? What is the meaning? What is this in Spanish? What is ever in Spanish? ¿Alguna vez? ¿Alguna vez? Exactly. Okay, and so the answer, the answer you can say, for example, yes, yes, I always do, okay, siempre, siempre que, Siempre lo he hecho. Siempre lo hago. Uh -huh. Okay. Or it's possible to say, sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Because remember, sometimes. Algunas veces. Sí, algunas veces. Oh, wow. Very good. Okay, so remember, normally we put the, the subject before, but with sometimes it's possible to put it after. Okay? And no, we can also say no, I no, never do. No, yo nunca lo hago. Good, no, nunca lo hago. Okay, do you have any questions? Mm, no question. Yes or no? No teacher. Do we understand or no? Do you have questions? No question. No? Guillermo, no questions. Edwin, do we have questions? No questions. No? Jocelyn, do you have questions? No question. No? Okay. All right. Um, Jacqueline, do you have questions? No questions? No questions? Okay. Um, y... Veo que también tenemos a Jenny Solórzano conectada. Hello, Jenny. Hello, teacher. Hi. Eh, no sé cuánto de, de, de la clase escuchó, pero do you have any questions about this? No question, teacher. Okay, good. All right, so... Um, I'm probably, you know what I'm going to do? Um, I will. Bye. 
para que tengan esta información. Se los voy a, I'm going to copy and paste in the, in the WhatsApp chat. <coughs> Just give me a moment. Un momentito mientras hay en WhatsApp. Okay. You have it, this jingle? Yes, the jingle? Sí. Okay, good, good. All right, so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna do two activities. Okay, to practice, we're gonna do two activities. And I'm going to explain the two activities. Okay, please. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay, so we have the sentences here. And what you're going to do is you're going to first, you're going to identify what is the position of the verb, is there the adverb in parentheses? So usually, here we have the adverb in parentheses is usually. So where do you put it? You put it here. What do you usually have for breakfast? You put it here. Because the reason, because you is the, is the subject. Oh, yeah. So we, we, put, we put the adverb frequency at, <clears throat> at the subject. Okay? Do you understand? Yes. Yeah? Yes, I understand. Okay. And then here in exercise B, you're going, you have the words in this order, right? There, it's not in an order. So you say, I have breakfast on never weekends. So you put them in the correct order and you say, I never have breakfast on weekends. Okay. Hey. Do we understand? Yes. Any questions? No question. All right. We're gonna stop. I'm gonna stop sharing. I'm going to send this in the WhatsApp group. Got it? Yes? Yes. Okay, good. All right, so what I'm going to do, se nos desconectó. Yo sí creo que ya no está. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make breakout rooms. Okay, and you're going to go into a breakout room with your partner and you're going to um,
you're going to be um, finishing the exercises, okay? Do we understand what to do? Yes. Yeah? Okay. I'm going to give you about 10 minutes. No, because that's minutes. Yeah, no, about 10 minutes. I'll give you 10 minutes to do this, okay? Here we go. Jenny? Jenny? Jenny, me escucha. Hola, Jenny. Jenny? Jenny, Jenny, Solorzano? Hola, Jenny. Mía, early ever. Vale, entonces lo que empezó ahora es: I early, I hardly ever ate a snack at work. Ese sería el orden. I hardly ever ate a snack. Así. Entonces era: I. Hardly ever. Yo es el el adjetivo y después del adjetivo va el verbo. El verbo eat. Y lo que va a comer son snacks. Y de ahí le pone at work, que es el complemento. La número tres dice que para pasta, almuerzo, este, cena. Algunas veces y el I. Entonces empezamos con el subject, es I. Eh, sometimes es el adverb eh, frequency. Y después entonces, bueno, entonces dice I sometimes eat, es el verbo, pasta for dinner. Esa es la, la pregunta. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. La última. Siempre lo ubicamos, el, el adverbio, el, tenemos el I, bueno, no, aquí es diferente, dice have I dinner, dice tener yo cena con often family, ah, esto es más fácil todavía, entonces aquí empezamos, I often, el verbo es have dinner, I often have dinner with my family. Esa es la última. I often have dinner I with my family. Okay. Ahí lo tenemos. No. Ya lo tenemos. Sí, ya. Sí. Ordenar, básicamente, nada más es ubicar el subject. Después del subject va el, este, esta frecuencia, el verbio. Y siempre después de eso va a ir un verbo, de forma. Eh, Edwin, este está ahí. Edwin. Hola. Ok, lo voy a mover ahorita uh, para trabajar con Jenny, ok? Ok. La primera me dijo que sería I 
I ever is not. I never. No, no, perdón, que va. No, la primera. I never. No, 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 estaba viendo la primera de esas, pero la se, sería de partir de la número dos. Entonces ahí empieza, I ever. En la segunda, acá va. Ajá. Ajá, I, I ever. ever. Ajá. Ajá. De ahí, ¿cuál es el verbo? I ever, ¿cuál es el verbo? Eat. Word, trabaja. Sí, pero como, ¿qué, qué es lo que va, la acción va a ser? Va a ser la acción de comer snack. Entonces, ahí tiene que poner, I hardly ever. Parece que el hardly es parte del, del adverbio de frecuencia. Antes tiene que pasar, I hardly ever. I hardly ever. El verbo es eat. ¿Qué es lo que va a comer? Con snacks. Snacks. Ajá. Que les permiten comer en el trabajo. I hardly. Ay, caramba, fuera. Yo también como arroz. Así con Dios. Ahí comen, ahí comen. Un dulce, por favor. No, un dulce. Se ven cosas. Tenemos que hacer el ejemplo. Sí, pero se ven cosas. Ah, no, 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 no. no. Ah, ok, va. Y ahí la otra me dijo que era. Entonces la otra es... Some, I, I, some time. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, sí es. De ahí sería el verbo hit. Ajá, el verbo es eat. eat uh, dinner. ¿Qué es lo que come? Vaya, son. Y la tercera y la cuarta hay que hacer lo mismo. Hay que ordenar. Entonces, en el cuadrito que nos mandó antes la teacher está la forma de, de conjugar el, el sujeto con la con el adverbio de la frecuencia. Adverbs of frequency. Do you have any questions? No, teacher. Jenny, do you have any questions? No, teacher. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll stay here to help you then. Continue, pretend I'm not here. Okay. Entonces, Jenny, la segunda, ¿cómo quedaría? La segunda... Sería <clears throat> it it's not held I no, no. I eat it's not uh -huh. no sería primero que recuerde que primero va el sujeto así como lo dije y luego va eh, el adverbio de frecuencia en este caso el Eso. adverbio es ever el sujeto es ever no, el sujeto es I, yo uh -huh. I ever primero sujeto y después el adverbio de frecuencia entonces I ever Sería, I ever uh -huh. eat, eat, eat is not. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ever? Uh, Hold on. Ever. Ever. Are you saying ever, ever or never? Ever. No, ever is a for question only. Porque ever is alguna vez. Entonces yo no puedo decir yo alguna vez. No, right? Yo nunca, yo siempre, yo yo uh, usualmente okay 
Ah, pues está malo ahí, teacher. Entonces, ajá. Porque dicen, ajá, dice Eva. ¿Mm? No, nos quieren hacer trampa ahí porque sí dice Ever. Ajá, pero es que es hardly ever, no solo ever. Ah, oh, hardly, hardly ever. ever. Ah. Entonces, I hardly I ever eat is not a word. Hardly ever es casi nunca. Solo ever si es eh, alguna vez. Do you understand? So yes. hardly, so hardly ever is for question for answer. For question, it's ever. Oh, okay. I hardly ever. I was, I hardly ever eat. It's not as work. Mm -hmm. Could be. Sometimes, sometimes I. Hay pasta for dinner. I eat sometimes. I eat sometimes. Quiero ver. Ajá. Sometimes. La tercera. Oh, I sometimes. No. A section. Sometimes I. Sometimes I. Eat. Eat. Pasta. Pasta for dinner. Yes. Así sería. Yes. Yes. <laughs> What? Number four. Se lo dan también. Y ese que ¿Y para mí ya no. No, que para mí ya no, no ya no me sirve porque yo, yo soy ingeniero. Entonces ya un técnico ah, no, ya pues no. Sí, ya yo, no, 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 no. Ah, sí, no, yo sí me he yo cuando estudiaba, hasta ahora. Quiera o no, le, les, les exige Ajá. mucho ese técnico, yo lo he visto, porque tengo mi súper que, que les ayudo de vez en cuando. Sí, porque es muy los bueno, la míos, verdad. Pues ahí estamos. Hello. Todos. So, are Hola. You, are you finished? Yes, we finished. finished? Ok. Yes, Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Um, any questions that you have? No question. Okay. All right. I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay. Ya lo dije, pero a ver. Necesito ayuda, me aviso. Are you guys ready? Por favor. Are you ready? Yo estoy hecho. Ok, I'll see you in the main room in a moment, ok? Ok. I often, I often have dinner with my family.
Okay. All right, guys, we're going to check the answers. You see my screen? Yes. Yeah? I see right now, yes. Perfect. Okay, good. Um, so, um, let's check the answers. For the first one, we have, oops. So, what do you usually have for breakfast? We're going to put the word usually right here. Well, I have coffee, cereal, and juice. Where do you put the word often? Where do you put the word often? Mm -hmm. What I often. Sorry? Can you repeat? This rather bit well I often have oh, cool. coffee. Mm -hmm. Very good. Exactly. I often have coffee. Mm -hmm. Right there. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me do that one. So put it right here, the carrot. It's, this is called the carrot. So we'll put the carrot there. Okay, next. Do you have breakfast at work? What is the question? Do you, do you... What's the question? Do you? Do you ever, do you ever? Do you ever? Do you ever eat breakfast eat. at work? Do you yeah. ever? Okay. Next, I have breakfast at my desk. Sometimes I. Okay, so yes, you're right. We can put it in two different positions. You can either say, Sometimes I have breakfast at my desk, or it's also possible to put it here. I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Okay? Do you understand? Yes. Any questions? No okay. question. Next, do you eat rice for breakfast? Do you eat rice do for you, breakfast? Do you usually? Do you usually, usually eat? Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Okay. All right. Any questions about this? Any other questions? I hardly ever. Yes. No, I hardly ever have rice. All right. Any any questions about part number one? Okay. All right. Next. Work. I snacks. Eat at hardly ever. I hardly ever. I yes. hardly ever. Eat a snack at, at work. Eat snacks at work. At work. Good. Right. So that's number one. Okay. 
Next. Number two, eat for, pa for pasta dinner, sometimes I. Sometimes I. Sometimes I. Eat. Eat. Pasta for dinner. Pasta for dinner. That's it. Good. And the last one, have I dinner with often family my? I often. Have dinner with my family. Very good. I sometimes have dinner with my, sorry, I often have dinner with my family. Okay, very good. All right, something I wanted to actually tell you about is that um, the word often what is, what is the meaning of this word? Can you remind me in Spanish? What is often? Often? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me in Spanish? What is often? Algunas veces. Mm, no, algunas veces sería sometimes. A menudo o seguido. Mm -hmm. A menudo, seguido, frecuentemente. Okay, but yeah, it would be more like a menudo. So um, with this word, the um, the pronunciation is two. We have two pronunciations. We can pronounce it often, pronouncing the T, and we can pronounce it often, without it, without the T, okay? So American pronunciation is more often, okay? British pronunciation is more often, okay? So we say, so the two forms are, are possible, often and often, okay? Okay, often and often. Yeah. Do you have any questions? I have I have No teacher. No? No question. Se usan de las dos formas. Yes. I the two the two so the, the two are valid. The two forms are valid. Okay. Um all right. That's clear. Okay. Saber qué les pasó a los demás. Se nos esfumaron. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to show you some questions. And um, I want you to ask each other these questions. Yeah, so we have Mealtime habits, he says, do you usually eat? And then we can ask, for example, do you usually eat um, fish for breakfast? Do you usually eat meat for dinner? Or, or better said, do you usually eat beef for dinner? Um, do you ever eat meat um, for breakfast? Do you ever go to a restaurant for um, for lunch, for example? What do you usually drink for 
for um for dinner for example what is something you never eat for lunch okay do so do we understand these questions yes yeah and when do you understand this question yes teacher yeah jenny do you understand these questions yes teacher okay good all right so edwin you can um choose between jenny and guillermo and ask the first question uh, do you usually eat pizza on sunday who are you okay well hey. you can ask both actually yeah. Edwin, your answer? I, I often eat pizza. I often eat pizza um lunch. Okay. In lunch. In lunch. So could you repeat that, Edwin? I often eat pizza in lunch. For lunch. For, for lunch. lunch. For lunch. Oh, for lunch. Yes. Very good. Okay. okay. Jenny? What number? Three. The, the first one. Can you repeat the question, Guillermo? Do you usually eat pizza for lunch? I I often eat pizza for lunch for lunch. Okay, very good. Edwin, can you can you make a ne the next question? What time do you usually eat pupusa for breakfast? Uh, so what time do you usually pupusas would be okay? Because if you say for breakfast, ya le está diciendo la hora. Because what time is, a que horas? Right? Okay. What do you usually eat? Mm -hmm. What time do you usually eat? Proposals, for example. Okay. Um. So Guillermo, you can answer. I usually eat pupusas uh, for lunch, uh, for dinner, uh, around eight p.m. Okay. Okay, Jenny. I usually eat I usually eat pupusa. Mm -hmm. Is the dinner at seven p.m. Okay, very good. Okay, Jenny. Now you can ask the next question, number three. Do you ever, do you ever eat meat for? For dinner. Okay, Edwin, do you ever eat meat for dinner? I sometimes eat meat for dinner. 
And sometimes they eat me for dinner. Good. Okay. Guillermo? Uh, I, I sometimes eat meat for dinner. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Guillermo, can you answer? Sorry, can you ask the next question? Um, do you do you ever go to the restaurant for Sunday or on Sunday? On Sunday. Uh, for on Sunday. No, not for on, just on Sunday. Oh, on Sunday. Yeah. Okay, uh, so Jenny, do you ever go to a restaurant on Sunday? Jenny? Um, um, yes, I ever, I go to restaurant for Sunday. On Sunday, on Sunday, and 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 not you, you would not say I ever, I ever know because ever means alguna vez. Okay, can, can you repeat the, the the your answer, Jenny? Yes, yes, I I go to a restaurant for Sunday. Okay, very good. I go to restaurant. How often? Jenny, how often? Sometimes, never, ever, eh, often, always, what? Good, Jenny. Uh, offer and... Okay, so I I uh -huh. then the adverb of frequency. I sometimes I never I usually I adverb. usually uh -huh. I usually continue. I usually go to the uh, restaurant on Sunday. On Sunday. Yes, okay, good. Edwin? I hardly ever go to a restaurant on Sunday. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, Edwin, next question. Why do you usually dream for breakfast? What do you usually drink for breakfast? Okay. Guillermo, what do you usually drink for breakfast? I usually drink uh, for breakfast coffee. Okay. So you you would say, I usually drink coffee for breakfast. Put the for breakfast at okay. the end. Okay. Okay. Can, can you repeat? I usually uh, drink coffee for breakfast. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. And Jenny? I drink. Tell us the frequency. I, I usually drink water every day. Okay, but for breakfast, his as we asked for breakfast. I usually. I usually drink. drink. I usually drink water. water. So Jenny, I usually I usually drink water for for uh, breakfast. breakfast for breakfast. Very good, excellent. Okay, and Jenny, the last question: What is sometimes you something? never or? something? Not sometimes something. 
What is something you never eat for Monday? On Monday. You said yeah, on Monday. Monday. Okay. Can, you, can you repeat, Jenny? What is something you never um, eat on Monday? What is something you never eat? Eat Monday. On Monday. Okay. What is something you never eat on Monday, Edwin? Uh, some something yeah. I never I've never some something. No. Because something is algo. Um, so I never you say something I never eat is uh, I never eat mm -hmm. fish. For um on Sunday. On Sunday, okay, yeah. I never eat fish on Sunday. Okay, Guillermo. I never eat uh, sushi uh, on Sunday. Okay, very good, bravo! You guys got it. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna stop there today. All right. Thank you for connecting, Edwin Vladimir Gutierrez. And Guillermo Ernesto Quesada. Eh, Jenny, Jenny, ¿es su nombre completo cuál es? Jenny Angélica Solórzano. Ok, Jenny Al Angélica Solórzano, ok. ¿Quién estaba también con nosotros? Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Jacqueline. Y Jacqueline. Jocelyn y Jacqueline. Ok, perfecto. Ok, ¿cuándo es la, la, la próxima y última clase? Next Monday. Monday, ok. Por favor, no se la pierdan, ok. Conéctense a tiempo, a las, a las tres, acuérdense, tenemos clase a las tres. Eh, no se la pierdan, es la última clase, ok. Y para los que por X motivo no pudieron estar en la clase la semana pasada o si se han perdido parte de la clase de hoy, Vean el video, por favor, porque para eso es, son los videos, para eso son los enlaces que se, se mandan para que ustedes puedan ver los videos. ¿Ok? Sí, sí. Okay. ok, ¿any questions? No, no question. No questions? Ok. All right, so that will be all for today, guys, and, um, and girls, and I'll see you on Monday. Okay. 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 All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.